I talk to you, beg me to stay. Hey, I'm not staying, I just wanna play. And I'm party, just wanna walk. Rap life coach, show you how it go. How to get the dough, how to do it pro. Don't believe the hype, time to shine your light. Music is life, gotta live it right. Rap life coach, show you how it go. Rap life coach, gotta take notes. What up, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Rap Life Coach Podcast with your girl, Jessica Bits, where music is life, so you better live it, live it right. Check out my website and uh, subscribe. And if anyone got a problem with it, Don't talk about ice spice in this episode, honey, because <laughs> I told y'all, I told y'all, she's here to stay. She's here to stay. Now, if y'all are on my YouTube from my TikTok, you already know I've been following Ice Spice, okay? And I was going back and forth with the girlies about why Ice Spice is here to stay when everyone was saying she was gonna be just a one hit number she didn't have no bars she didn't have no spice and she just in her position because she likes skin did with curly hair now don't get me wrong you know what i'm saying we all know that colorism exists within the music industry and the world period but we have to learn how to use discernment yes she might be favored by some people but because of her complexion. But she can't help that she's light-skinned just as much as someone can't help that they dark-skinned. But I really don't feel like that's the reason why she is now surpassing <coughs> Cardi B and Doja Cat. She coming in number three after them for the most monthly listeners, okay? Let's get into it. Okay, it's not just because she light skinned it, okay? Because if that's the case, why Lotto ain't getting all those listeners? You know what I'm saying? There's other female rappers that's light skinned it, it's because Ice Spice got that sauce. And y'all just keep wanting to say, oh, she can't rap and this and that. Y'all act like all these dude rappers out here can rap, okay? A lot of them just got that sauce. Ice Spice got that sauce. No, I'm my bad. She got that spice. I seen it from a mile away. And I told y'all in the other video I did, I put it at the end of this one, where I said the real reason why she gonna be here for a while, baby, she's <laughs> making that known. She's showing and proving. She don't say much, okay? And when she do talk, she talks soft-spoken, and she talk like she got some sense, you know what I'm saying? Some female rappers talk and I'll be like, okay, what, <laughs> why is she talking, okay? When she talks, she make you wanna hear her more, okay? And let's not get it twisted because she didn't let Drake, I don't think she let Drake smash. That's why Drake unfollowed her for real. <laughs> See, she ain't one of them. Cause she could have smashed Drake to get, to solidify her position. She ain't new to, you know why? Cause she got a damn producer. And speaking of her producer, let's talk about her rolling, rolling loud performance. Cause I covered her performance when she went there the first time and it wasn't good, okay? And I talked about it on my TikTok. I gave her constructive criticism. It wasn't just that performance. It was the performance everybody was talking about when she was in Houston and the crowd was dead. I gave her constructive criticism. It made me feel like she paying attention. She didn't get online and cry about it. She was behind the scenes working on her show improvement, okay? And she did the dang thing. She blew me away. I can't front. She had the crowd going crazy when she went to roll around the second time. I felt like a proud mama. Let's give it up for Ice Spice. Cause she ain't talking about it. She being about it. She proving y'all wrong. Where y'all at now? I thought she was just a one hit wonder. Okay. I, I, I thought that's what it was. 
I thought she was only in the game because she was light skinned to dick or curly hair. <clears throat> no, that's not why. Because she has a trait that a lot of people with longevity have. You know what that trait is? Taking constructive criticism and working on it instead of crying about it. <laughs> like some artists. <laughs> oh, you didn't do that well on the charts? Well, get in the lab and work harder. Don't be coming at people online because they got their opinions that be facts. You know what I'm saying? Ice Spice took that criticism and she worked on it. You can tell. A lot of people's like, she a new artist. Give her some slack when she went to Rolling Loud the first time. Which is cool. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm very constructive with it. It's a, it's a difference between being a constructive, giving constructive criticism and just being a straight up hater. Okay? Period. A lot of y'all was just straight up hating on Ice Spice because she the full package and y'all mad. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Period. <clears throat> Trying to say that she only around because of how she looked. I don't, it's more than that. Because when she was at the Rolling Loud performance, guess who she thanked? Her producer. And this is why I said in the video I did before, why she gonna have longevity? Cause she do things that most artists don't even do. A lot of artists producer hop, okay? They just wanna work with the producer, that work with everybody else, okay? And they don't have their own sound, their own niche. When you think of Brian, okay? You think of Ice Spice. When you think of Ice Spice, you think of Ryan. Cause she was that smart enough as an artist to know <clears throat> if I want to stand out from these other bitches, I need my own producer who's going to give me my own sound. Okay. That's the real reason why um, Munch blew up. Okay. She had our original new sound. Not saying that her producer created that sound, that drill sound, but he's a new producer. He put his little touch on it. If you want to make a buzz as a new artist, get a producer to work with you hands on and give you your own sound. So when people want to sound like you, they're going to go to their producer and say, hey, make me an Ice Spice type beat. Okay, if you want to be a type beat artist, get with a producer to give you your own sound or be your own producer, okay? Like me, all right? Shoot, I produce my own stuff, but I'm just saying, an artist like Ice Spice is a producer's dream, period. And she's showing and proving all y'all wrong. How's it feel to not know what the hell y'all talking about? Cause I sure did. And I had her back. I was defending her from day one. When they were saying she just there cause she light skinned. No, she's there cause she has a hit. Okay. Get a hit. All right. And moving on to her linking up with Northwest. And now y'all got a problem with that. I mean, we just can't never please the fucking internet. Okay. I'm confused. Why y'all got a problem with her linking up with Northwest? To me, this a pop culture moment. Ice Spice and Northwest, because you know Northwest got that sauce. <laughs> That's Kanye's daughter. She know what's hot. She be drawing pictures of Ice Spice and shit. She's Ice Spice in there. <laughs> she got a cult-like following now. <laughs> she up there. I said it. I called it. Hoo -hoo. I know who got it and who don't. <laughs> and y'all mad that Y'all saying that Ice Spice a bad influence and shouldn't be around a child? Hold on, I, I must be forgetting something. Because when I grew up, we had the real gangsters performing for us, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Remember when, if you had a hot song, you was performing in front of the kids and we was getting it. See, my generation, we was getting it to rap, okay? <clears throat> That's all we knew was rap. So now y'all on the internet talk about she ain't a good influence to be around Northwest. Ah, I'm so sick of y'all. <laughs> because I love when somebody proved people wrong who was talking all that shit. Y'all was talking all that shit about Ice Spice. She don't got no talent. She don't got bars. She just shake her ass. No, I did say that though. On her first Roller Live performance, 
I said, when all fails, she just gonna shake that ass. Hey, if that works, if, if that works, do it, girl, okay? Y'all just mad because she got a real ass to shake, I think, because y'all so used to them BBLs. No disrespect to the BBLs, but Ice Spice is bringing that real ass back, okay? And we can all appreciate that, okay? We just can't. If she got it, if it bounces, shake it, okay? But this time, she was coming with the bars, her mic, it was on, okay? And she was spitting everywhere and she was shaking that ass. So, kudos to Ice Spice. It looked like she ain't going nowhere, baby. She is coming for these bitches next, okay? How can she lose when she already chose? I think she chose. <laughs> Everybody who do this shit ain't chose. Mm -hmm. Ice Spice is likable. She's relatable. When she talks, it, it sounds like she got some sense. Okay, she don't let her big booty and pretty face fool you. I think she's actually smart. <laughs> she's calculated, all right? She remind me of Nikki a little bit. Not all the way, but she remind me of Nikki how calculated she is, because Nikki does the same thing. She sit back, observes, listen, takes in the criticism, whether it's constructive or not, and come back out and shit on everybody, okay? She's learning well. She's learning very well, and I'm proud of her, and that's that on that. So make sure you watch my other video on Ice Spice. If you is following me from TikTok, I deactivated my TikTok for now. I can't even log into TikTok, all right? Because all the shit is there. I, I got a bigger following and more views on TikTok, but I can't go on there. And plus, you know, I got weirdos lurking and stalking me on there anyway. So, uh, catch me on YouTube. Subscribe and all that good stuff. Until next time. Rap Life Coach. Show you how I got. Rap Life Coach.